Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, we'll be talking about the ultimate guide to using Parallax with Divi. Before we begin, there's a few things that we need to have in place in order for us to achieve the Parallax effect. So firstly, we're going to need a large image with dimensions of 1920 by 1080 pixels. And we're also going to use some CSS code, which I will link to the post in the show notes below. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to create a brand new page. Now, I've already gone ahead and created a page called Parallax. So let's dive into the visual editor and let's get started. So what we need to do here is to add a module. So the module I've added here is a full uh, it's full width header module. So what I'm going to do here is to add an image. So I'm going to come over here to background, click this third tab, click this plus button to add our background image. So the image I'm going to use is right here in my media library. But if you haven't uploaded your images to your media library, you'll have to click this upload button and then navigate to the folder, which has the image that you need to use. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and click upload an image. So we can see here the images in the background. So right now we can see here that nothing much is going on. So the first step to activate your parallax is to come over here and uh, where it says use parallax effect, you need to click on yes. Okay, so now the parallax effect has been activated. Now there's two methods here which I'll go through in a little bit. But first of all, let's fix this problem that we have here because we can see that our image here is not showing properly. So what we need to do is to come over here to the advanced tab, click on custom CSS, and we need to add some custom code which is going to add some padding. So I'm just gonna paste my code in here, and now you can see that uh, by adding that code, we've added 250 pixels to the top and to the bottom. So this allows us to see this image. Okay, so now let's go back to our content tab, click on background. So at the moment, the parallax method that's selected is uh, CSS. So let's take a look and see what happens. So as I'm scrolling here, you can see that uh, with the CSS option, uh, the parallax works by covering the image as you scroll through like that. Okay, now let's try the, the true parallax and see what happens. So I'm going to activate true parallax. And now if I scroll, you can see that the effect is different. So this is something that you can uh, choose between, uh, just depending on which effect you need for your uh, design. If you're using a larger screen, you can actually go ahead and also increase your padding. So I'm using a 27 inch screen, so uh, sometimes I have to add more padding in order for, for my image to show. So I'm just gonna increase this to, to 80 for the top and bottom, but in your case, you can just adjust accordingly. If you take a look at the article, which I've linked in the show notes below, it goes into more detail explaining what these uh, different types of parallax do. So you can go ahead and read on that article. Now, before we finalize this video, there are five general tips for picking the right kind of image for parallax that I need to go through with you. So the first one is avoid distracting photos. So ideally, you want to show a picture that is beautiful, which mainly focuses on the part of the image that you want. If an image has so much going on, it really takes away from that effect. Secondly, make sure your photo matches the theme of your website. So um, if your colors on your photo are way off compared to the branding on your website, again, you're not going to really get a very good um, outcome because the idea of your website is really to tell a good story through images and color. Thirdly, keep it big and simple. Remember, your parallax image is to be viewed on smaller screen sizes as well. So make sure that it the details of the photo aren't so small and can't be recognized on smaller devices. Number four, add an overlay color when necessary. Sometimes it's a good, sometimes a good parallax image will have both dark and light aspects, which may end up hiding your text when scrolling. So adding a dark and light overlay will guarantee your text to be read anywhere on the image. And finally, number five, make it interesting. Take time out to really take a look at pictures that work with what you're trying to achieve. 
So once you're happy with the parallax effect that you want, go ahead and save and then save the page and exit. And then when I scroll, you can see now that our parallax is working. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you.